Hey, what's up people? It's Brock. And this is going to be a, a little bit of, of a different video. I've um, been wanting to do this for a little while. And I get a lot of questions like, like, how do you, you know, do what you do on the guitar? Or how did you learn? And stuff like that. Well, I came to my senses or whatever you want to say um, sometime, I don't know when, but, you know, later on, I realized there's only a you know, there's really, let's say, the five rules. Man, my hands are black. Look at that. That's what you get for riding around in the wheelchair all the time. Well, um, but five rules. Number one, always have a good setup because, you know, you know how bad it is to play on the guitar. That sucks really bad and, and it just frustrates you and you don't want to do anything. So, I mean, you got high strings and you can't get no speed or do chords or anything like that. So, always have a guitar that's set up decent to your liking. And there's music stores that can do it for you, or I'm sure one out of every five houses has a guitar player that knows how to do it somewhere. So just ask around and look around. So that's number one. Number two, the main important thing I always tell everybody, and I don't see this a lot, it's really so simple that you think more people would know it. And I don't think a lot of pros even know it sometimes, you know, just by the their interviews and their articles and stuff like that. Um, they learn the notes across the whole fretboard. It is not very hard. It's not that hard. I'm, I'm serious. It could take somebody a couple days, a day, a couple weeks, if that, you know, just to learn it. There's only 12 notes and 12 frets basically because after the 12th fret, it repeats it again. So it's not that hard. You go open E. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, then A string open, A sharp, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and so on. It's not that hard. So that way, I'm trying not to make this video too long, but that way so when we need to call those notes up at a time, whether you're in a band situation, you're sight reading, tablature, you know, and it says A on the B string. Well, where's an A? Tenth fret. There's your there's an A A note on the B string. Where's an A on the D string? On your seventh fret or on your nineteenth fret. Where's the A on your G string? On the second fret. On the fourteenth fret. You know, on the low E fifth fret. You know, on the A string is open or the twelfth fret, etc. Somebody says where's a C sharp on the high E? Ninth fret. Um, 11th fret on the D, there's 4th uh, fret on the A, 6th fret on the G string. You learn those and it gets, it, it, it gets hammered into your mind. So this is the most important thing, that's what I'm saying. So when it comes, to, here's the third thing, after learning, this, uh, learning um, chords. Okay, you got a C. What, learn what makes up a C note, I mean a C chord. C, E, and a G. If you already know where all those notes are across the fretboard, this helps people that are always like, well, I'm always stuck in a box. Well, get out of that box. You know, you're not no freaking circus clown in a box or something. You don't need to be stuck in that box. You don't need to live there and pay rent. You can go all over the fretboard, you know? If you got a C, an E, and a G, that's what makes up a C major chord. So now you can put them, now if, if you know all the fretboard notes all over, you can, you can do the, the, those three notes anywhere on the fretboard and you make a C major chord. So we can do it here to, we can do it here. We can do, we can do some weird things like here's a C, E, and open G. You can do it down here. And I mean, there's countless ways you can do it. Open the chord up there, the third position up there. The same thing as A minor, A minor makes it. It's a A, E, and a C. If you know where the A, E, and C notes are, since you already know the whole fretboard, you can play those notes, that chord, anywhere you want to on the whole fret. That's the same thing that applies to the next thing. Scales. Let's take a A, a minor pentatonic, which is 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8, which is the notes A, C, D, E, and G. Okay, well, 
if you already knew the whole fretboard where the notes are, everywhere is it, you would already know where your A, C, E, and D, and G notes are. So you can play, you can, I mean, you can go over the fretboard like... You can go up and down your fretboard. You're not stuck in the box no more. And then musical things start to happen because you're not sounding just like one box. You're because each time you hit those same five notes somewhere else, it changes the tonal character of you know your song to, and everything. So, and that that's five, right? I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. The last thing is um once you get that down, you put your feelings into it. Feelings, tremolo. You know, your trills, your slides, your hammer-ons pull-offs, your ta finger tapping if you want to be Eddie Van Halen, your rip, uh, scrape, pick scrape, and bandings and stuff like that. It all helps, you know, color what you're doing. So, uh, like if I'm in a A natural minor, a loading scale, I guess that's how you say it, but it's A, B, C, D, F, G, so you go. sloppy tonight but the, the whole idea I had some trills in there some bending some sliding and stuff that colors everything that you just learned about the scale and stuff like that and that's really all you need to know and let's get back talk about scale that really if you want to get into playing you know Hiroshima scales and Japanese scales and all that that's fine if that's what you're doing but you really only need to know the major minor pentatonic the natural melodian scale and the blues scale. And you can do anything from jazz, rock, blues, country, and all that stuff. And that's what I do, and it works. It's all about how you apply it. So those are my little rules that will get you up and running, but if it helps one person, then I'm happy. But if not, then that's your fault for not learning. So have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, something like that.